If you want to increase your rate of fire in your airsoft gun, there are a few things you can do. The rate of fire, ROF, depends on different factors. The motor, gear ratio, battery, gearbox efficiency, and the load on the gearbox, how hard it has to work. Depending on how fast you want to shoot, your setup will vary. For example, if you just want to shoot 25 rounds per second, you may only need a high-speed motor and a LiPo battery. In Airsoft, shooting in the high 20 rounds per second is considered normal nowadays. Some players even have guns that shoot over 60 rounds per second. Now let's go over the basics. Motor. Airsoft guns have three types of motors. High torque, high speed, and a mix of speed and torque. If you want a high speed gun, you'll need a good aftermarket motor. Torque motors are used for specialized high speed builds or guns with powerful springs. They are stronger and gain speed quickly. High speed motors are best for lower rated springs and take a bit longer to reach maximum speed. Gears and ratios. Most airsoft guns come with a gear ratio of 18 to 1, which is the standard. If you want a high speed gun with a rate of fire of 25 rounds per second or more, you may not need to change your gears. But for high ROF builds, it's recommended to aim for a gear ratio of 14 to 1 or less. Using higher speed gears with a high torque speed motor will give you noticeable results, especially built sector gears. Some players want extremely high speeds, so they use a special gear called the dual sector gear, DSG. It replaces the traditional sector gear and doubles the rate of fire by having two piston cycles for each revolution. However, using a DSG requires experience and modifications, so it's not recommended for beginners. Battery. Higher voltage batteries increase motor speed and torque. An 11.1 volt LiPo battery is commonly used for high speed builds. Make sure to use a MOSFET switch to protect your gun when using higher voltage batteries. Gearbox efficiency. To maximize your gun's rate of fire, your gearbox needs to be in good condition. Properly shim the gears to reduce stress on the motor and improve ROF and trigger response. Use good quality bushings or ball bearings for smoother gear movement. Lightening the piston and using a lightweight piston head can also help. Angle of engagement, AOE. Correction, this is an advanced technique, but it's worth mentioning. Correcting the AOE involves using a sorbothane pad with protective pads to improve the interaction between the gears and the piston, resulting in better performance. Gearbox load. The weight of the spring you use affects the motor's workload and the rate of fire. The heavier the spring, the slower the rate of fire. Short-stroked builds and dual-sector gear builds may require a heavy or buffered spring to compensate for FPS loss. Remember, it's important to take your time and do things properly when modifying your airsoft gun. Rushing or neglecting certain steps can lead to problems and shorten the lifespan of your gun.